What's up foodies? Today we're making a one pot meal, Tuscan shrimp with orzo. This recipe combines shrimp, asparagus, and orzo in a creamy sun-dried tomato sauce, all cooked in a single pot for minimal cleanup. It's quick too, with only a few minutes of prep and 30 minutes of cooking time. You could have this on the table for dinner in no time. This video is sponsored by Community Natural Foods. They're a 45-year-old Alberta company that is dedicated to the cleanest, best tasting fresh products. Today they have provided me with some amazing shrimp from Selva Shrimp. They're non-GMO and raised without feed or chemicals. They are climate neutral and certified sustainable. So let's get into it. You want to start by draining one cup of sun-dried tomatoes, reserving the oil, and setting the tomatoes aside. Heat a tablespoon of the sun-dried tomato oil in a large skillet or pot over medium-high heat. Once it's hot, add one pound of shrimp to the skillet and sear for one to two minutes on each side until they develop a golden crust. Now we're not fully cooking the shrimp here, we're just giving it a bit of color. Once that's done, remove the shrimp from the skillet and set it aside. Now reduce the heat to medium, add three cloves of minced garlic and one chopped onion to the skillet and saute it until it's translucent about two to three minutes. Add in one cup of orzo pasta and cook for one to two minutes, making sure all the pasta gets coated in oil. Then add in your sun-dried tomatoes and then add in three cups of chicken stock or vegetable broth to the pot. Bring your stock to a simmer and cook the orzo pasta until it's al dente and most of the liquid has been absorbed. Keep an eye on your orzo as it cooks. Stirring constantly is gonna prevent sticking. It's different brands have slightly different cooking times Check the orzo a few minutes before the package suggests to ensure it doesn't overcook. You might need to adjust the broth amount to ensure the orzo cooks perfectly. Add a small bit more stock if you think you need it. Once your orzo is just about cooked, stir in one cup of heavy cream and two cups of fresh spinach leaves. Cook until the spinach is wilted and the cream has heated through. Now return your seared shrimp to the pan and add in your asparagus pieces. Now if you're like me, you forgot to add the asparagus, don't be like me, make sure you add your asparagus. Now mixing your shrimp and your asparagus, cook for an additional two to three minutes until the shrimp are heated through. If you find your sauce is too thick after adding the cream, you can thin it slightly with a bit more broth or water. On the other hand, if it's too thin, let it simmer a bit longer to reduce and thicken up. Then stir in half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now make sure you use freshly grated Parmesan cheese as it melts better and integrates into the sauce more smoothly than pre-grated cheeses, which sometimes can contain anti-caking agents. Then season with some salt and pepper to taste. A garnish with some fresh parsley if desired, then serve hot. This dish is amazing on its own, but it can be served with a side of crusty bread to soak up the extra sauce. And there you have it, my one pot creamy Tuscan shrimp with orzo. Remember, cooking is not just about the final dish, but it's also about the joy of creating something delicious. Take your time, taste as you go, and don't worry if things don't look perfect. Your efforts will still result in something amazing. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up, a subscribe down below, and until next time, foodie out.